If you're here watching this episode, you're probably thinking of getting a portable kayak. So this video will compare the Tuck Tech folding kayak and the six piece packer yak. I'll go through a few points such as price, convenience setup time, size and weight, conditions and what conditions can you use them in storage and I'll provide my final conclusion to make it easier for you to choose which one is the best suited for you. As you can see from my videos, I own both the Tactic 14 Kayak and the Six Piece Pakayak. I also wanted to add that I'm not a professional kayaker, so I'm really just sharing my experiences with both these kayaks. I won't go into too much detail of the dimensions. I'll leave a link below so you can access and have a look at those two yourself. In terms of convenience and storage, they're both obviously smaller than a conventional kayak. That's why you're looking for a portable kayak. The good thing is you can store them in your home, put it in a corner. And you can see here in this setup, the Tuck Tech beat the Pakayak only by a few minutes. So it's not that much of a difference. For your reference, it takes me about three to four minutes to set up the Tuck Tech, while the Pakayak is only a little bit longer. So just add another minute or two. So they're both really, really quick to set up. But I think more importantly, it's about the weight. So for the Tuck Tech 14 kayak, I can easily carry it on my shoulder and I can just carry it with my two hands from the car. While the Pakayak is, I think more than two times heavier. So it's around 28 kilos while the Tuck Tech is about 13 kilos. So if weight is a really big issue for you, then I think you already have the answer. Okay, now, so let's talk about in which conditions can you use either of these kayaks. So the Tuck Tech is more suited for calmer conditions. Because it is a recreational kayak with a flatter and wider bottom, it does feel a lot more stable. So for anyone getting into kayaking or just starting out, I do recommend the Tuck Tech 14 kayak. And once you become confident in the water with a recreational kayak, then I would suggest to move on into a different type of kayak like the Pakayak. For the conditions of the Pakayak, I have taken it in really rough waters and I intend to be testing it a lot more in rougher open seas too. A lot of people have said it is a lot tippier, but that is the nature of a sea touring kayak. And frankly, when I first went on the Pakayak, it did feel a little tippy, but that was only for the first one or two minutes. Afterwards, I felt very, very comfortable in it too. And for you guys who are watching with a lot more kayaking experience, Obviously, you'll know that a tippier kayak is actually safer in rougher waters. If you're scared of flipping or tipping, please don't get on a kayak. All kayaks will flip at one time or another. No matter how good you are as a kayaker, you are going to flip. It's learning how to get back on or getting safely back to shore is the key. And you always have to stay within a distance that you can swim. So think about it this way. If you're going hiking, you don't expect to fall, but it can happen. But how well prepared are you if you do fall? For the Pakayak, because you have the cockpit separated from the other pieces, even if the cockpit fills up with water, it will still float. The Tuck Tech also will float, but if the cockpit fills up with water, it is very, very difficult to get back in. So you will have to swim to shore with the kayak. I really hope I haven't scared anyone from buying a kayak because it is just the best experience to be on the water, floating in the ocean and spending time alone or with some friends. But safety is always number one. So before we go into pricing, let's talk a bit about storage. I recently went camping with some friends here in Hong Kong. I was able to fit quite a few things behind my seat at the back of the Tuck Tech. I had a 50 liter bag and also a cooler. And I think in total, it might have been about 10 kilos of weight. So with the Pakayak, you do have to store things a little differently. So you do have the deck hatches, which are a little smaller. So you do need smaller bags, smaller waterproof bags to put in there. There is also quite a large space behind the seat of the Pakayak, although it is prone to get wet if you don't have a spray skirt. If you want to do fishing, if you want to do camping, if you just want to go touring, just recreationally, these will be some of the considerations you will need to take into account when you purchase a kayak also. The price point of the Tuck Tech is definitely more accessible. 
So if you do want to go out with more people, it is more affordable than the Pakeyak. The Pakeyak definitely is more expensive and it's more aligned with those conventional sea touring kayaks. But you really need to think about the shipping costs. The cost of the Tuk Tech to ship overseas, it is lower than the Pakeyak purely because of the volume and size. So you really need to take into consideration the shipping costs before you purchase the kayaks. Okay, now for the conclusion. I hope that all that information has helped you decide which one you're going to get. They're both really good kayaks. It just depends what you will use it for. If you want to use it in a calm, safe place with more than just yourself, I would recommend the Tuk Tech because of the price, the convenience, the size, and it is suited for calmer waters and bays, and it also handles itself quite well in rougher waters. Just make sure you know the weather conditions before you go out. I would recommend the Pakiak to people who already knows how to kayak. So I would say it's like a graduation from the Tuk Tech. I would get the Tuk Tech first to see if you really enjoy it. And if you fall in love with kayaking, then I would invest in the Pakiak. The Pakiak will be able to take you to places the Tuk Tech cannot take you. And it's a different experience. For myself, I will continue to use both depending on where I'm going to go. The Tuk Tech is much more convenient for me to take. It's much lighter and a lot more of my friends have the Tuk Tech. So I will take the Tuk Tech together with everyone else. The Pakiak is reserved for longer distances or for a trip when I know it's going to be rougher conditions for me to explore further distances. So I really hope this helped you in deciding which one is the best suited for you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.